Hey Valley Metal, welcome to chapter 10. Today we're going to learn about classifying angles. Some of the questions I'm going to ask you are going to be review and there will be a few new words too. Alright, here we go. Our trivia question today is, oh, I'm in a baseball mood kids, how many major league teams or ballparks are there? Alright, I'll get back to that shortly. Let's go to our official target for the today which is lesson 10.1a. I can classify angles. Let's do this thing. I got a whole bunch of questions. Take a look at this intersection here of Lane Avenue and Garfield Road. Which angles here are acute? Which angles are obtuse? Is there a straight angle? Which angles are adjacent? I'm overwhelmed. Let's take this question at a time. Which angles are acute? Well, angle one and angle three are acute. They're less than 90 degrees. Which angles are obtuse? Well, that's going to be 4 and 2. These angles here are more than 90 degrees. Is there a straight angle? A straight angle is just like a straight line like this. And yeah, there is one straight angle. If you look right here, if you think of the Garfield Road, that would be a straight angle. Or maybe Lane Avenue. Garfield's better because it doesn't, it's got the dots going straight through. So that could be a straight angle. Which angles are adjacent? Adjacent just means next to one another. So 1 and 2 are adjacent, 2 and 3 are adjacent, 3 and 4 are adjacent, and 1 and 4 are adjacent. And another important thing is they, they, it means they share the same vertex. So this angle and this angle share this point here in the middle of the vertex. Which angles are vertical? Well, these are opposite angles. So 1 and 3 are vertical and 2 and 4 are vertical. Which angles are equal? Well opposite angles are equal so these are the two roads that intersect so the opposite angles like 1 and 3 they're going to have the same measure just like 4 and 2 will have the same measure. That's a lot isn't it? Basically that's the entire lesson in about 30 seconds. Let's break it down bit by bit and I'll take you through it. All right, first of all, you need to know these words. Right angle, that's exactly 90 degrees. An acute angle is here and it's less than 90 degrees. Okay, an obtuse angle, this big obtuse one, this is more than 90 degrees. And then here's that straight angle, it's exactly 180 degrees. So, using those words, let's classify these angles. What is angle, this angle right here? It's less than 90, so it's an acute. This angle here, even though it's upside down, you can see that it's more than 90, so that's like this one, this, that's obtuse. All right, you try B, C, and D on your own. Okay, B, this has got the little box in the corner signifying that's exactly 90, so that's a right angle. This one is more than 90 degrees, so that's obtuse. And the straight line is a straight angle. All right, let's try five quick questions. Go. Whoops. You try to answer these. Pause the screen. All right. This one here is a right angle. It's got the box. This one here, that's less than angle, 90 degrees, so that's going to be an acute angle. Down here, that's more than 90 degrees, so that's, uh, that's obtuse. And I'm just going to do something real quick here. One of the things that I use often, I just have a little block. Let me just make it blue real quick. Um, I use a little block like this to, here we go, to use, to double check. Let's see, is that more than 90 degrees? Yeah, you can see it's more than 90 degrees. Just like you can take and rotate this one and check and, and see if this one fits in there perfectly. And it does, so that is 90 degrees. This one here, put the, put the block parallel with one line. You can see that that's more than 92, right? And why do I do that? Well, just to double check my obtuse and my right angles. 
This guy's got to be obtuse because it's more than 90 degrees as I put my little chip in there. This one here, of course, is a straight angle. Using a little piece of paper like that or a corner of your book is something that you can do during a test, too, if you're not sure. Sometimes angles like this can look very much like a 90-degree angle. When you put a little um, right angle up there, like uh, is on a piece of paper, you'll find out that it is obtuse. All right, let's keep rolling. We're on to our next slide. A couple new words. Just one, I guess. Adjacent. We've already talked about a vertex. A vertex is that point where two angles meet. But here's this word adjacent. And when you look at this, what this says is that angles 1 and 4 are adjacent. They're next to each other. They share this same vertex right here. 1 and 2 are also adjacent. They're next to each other, and they share a vertex right where my cursor is. Same with 3 and 4. They're adjacent. They share that same vertex. And 3 and 4 are adjacent. And 1 and 4. 4 and 2 are not adjacent. They don't share the same vertex. This vertex is going this direction. And you've got another one here. So they have to be next to each other and share that same vertex. Here's another interesting point over here. If you look at these two angles, they're not adjacent, angle A and B, because they overlap. If there was another angle here that said C that was from here to here, angle A and C would be adjacent. They're sharing the same vertex, and they don't overlap. Okay? Let's try some examples. Sounds harder than it is. Which of these angles are adjacent? Which are not? Go ahead and pause the screen and try it. All right, let's see how you did. Ooh, grab the wrong thing. Well, these two are adjacent, A and B. They share the same vertex. They're next to each other. These two angles here are adjacent. I'm sorry. These two angles here share the same vertex, but they're not adjacent. They're not next to one another. There's this gap in the middle, so they're not adjacent. Okay, these two angles here, although they're kind of next to each other, they don't share the same vertex. This one has a vertex here, and this has a vertex here. So they are not adjacent angles. Okay, a couple quick questions. In the above diagram, which of the following pairs of angles are not adjacent? Go ahead and pause it, and I'll let you do it. Okay, let's see. A and B are adjacent. B and C are adjacent. B and D, that, they don't look to be adjacent, so I'm going to put my star down there. But let me just check the last two. C and D. C and D, those two are adjacent. So B and D share the same vertex, but they're not next to each other, so they're not adjacent. One more question. Here we go. Pause it and give it a shot. All right, which of the angles are not adjacent? Let's do it again quickly. A and B, yep, share the same vertex, they are. B and C, this one and this one, they don't look adjacent, but let me check all the other answers and make sure. C and D, C and D, yep, they share the same vertex and they're next to each other. And D and E, they are adjacent angles. So good, if you answered B, you got that correct. We're on to our last little set. Sorry. Vertical angles is the word I mentioned. Vertical are two angles are vertical if they are opposite angles formed by two intersecting lines. Like here, this line and this line intersect. And so we have angles one and three are opposite angles or vertical angles. And they're going to be equal in measure, just like two and four. They're opposite and they are equal. Down here it shows this example here. Angle A and angle B are opposite angles or vertical angles. They're formed when two lines intersect. These are going to be equal. Their degrees will be equal. Here's what it says. Angle A is equal to angle B. Another name for these are called congruent angles. Congruent just means identical. All right? If you take a look over here, I drew a couple lines, and you'll see that a and C, these are going to be vertical angles or equal angles. I put them in the same color. Two lines intersect, and these are opposite angles, so they will be equal, just like D and B. 
will be opposite angles. They're not adjacent, they're not next to each other, but they're opposite and equal or vertical. The same thing down here. E and G are vertical or opposite angles, so they will be equal. Same with H and F. These are opposite angles or vertical angles, and they will be equal. Now, I put this up here not to confuse you, but to throw one other question at you. How about angle A and E? Are they vertical angles? No. Vertical angles are always formed by two intersecting lines. Angle A and E may be the same measure, but that does not mean that they are opposite or vertical. Okay? Angle A or G, that's even a better case. Look at them. They do have the same, assuming that this line and this line are parallel, angles A and G do have the same measure, but they do, they're not formed by two intersecting lines because there's actually three, so A and C are, but A and G are not. Again, they, can, they may be equal in measure, but they are not vertical angles. They are not opposite. So opposite angles with two lines, just like these ones here. All right, let's try some examples, and we'll talk it through. Oh, sorry, this one first. Here's some uh, parallel lines and a, transver a transversal. So these lines here are parallel. Which of the following pairs of angles are vertical? Vertical are also called vertically opposite angles. Go ahead and pause it and try. All right, let's run through it. W and Z. W and Z. Well, they look like, I'm going to put my star down here right away, because they look like they're opposite angles, but let's run through the rest. W and T. W and T? No, because... They're not formed by two intersecting lines. There's this third guy involved, so no, they're not opposite. How about S and Z? S and Z. Again, they may be equal, but they're not opposite because they're not formed by two intersecting lines. There's a third line involved, so it's not S and Z. And then T and Y. T and Y. Same thing. They're not opposite. Even if they may be equal, they're not opposite. So the answer is W and Z. These two angles here are vertical or opposite and opposite, or or opposite, sorry. All right, here's another question. Go ahead and see if you can answer. Which of the following pairs of angles are vertical? Sorry, same one. Here it is. Oops, I think I have the same question in two times. Here they go. Here's your other question. The diagram shows a, parallel, a pair of parallel lines and a transversal. Transversal. Which of the following pairs of the angles are vertical angles? Go ahead and see if you can figure it out. All right, S and Z. S and Z. Mm, no, they're not opposite or vertical. T and Y. T and Y. No, they're not opposite, so they're not vertical. U and W. U and... No, no, they're not opposite. U and T. U and T. Yeah, here we go. There they are. They are going to be equal because U and T are opposite or vertical. All right? We are ready for your ticket to the show. On this little diagram right here, name all the adjacent angles, name all the vertical angles. All right? I know I threw a lot at you tonight. It's a lot of vocab. I think it might suggest you watch this one again. It's a pretty easy ticket. All right, let's get to our trivia question of the day. How many Major League Baseball parks are there? There are a total of 30 of them. A better question is how many have I taken my family to? I've taken my family to 28. I still need to see City Field and Yankee Stadium. And if you watch this uh, video after uh, April 27th and 28th of 2014, I'll have taken my family to all of them. We've got the tickets and we're ready to go. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Watch it again. A lot of vocabulary. See you tomorrow.